Carpi. So we had a look at turning before, turning our bodies. So angles are a measurement of turn. It tells us the amount of turn from one position to another. So you know how before when I got you to turn to your right and we said 90 degrees? Carpi. That was a right angle. Okay. So as you can see over here, we've got six types of angles. The one that I just showed you is a right angle. So let's tick that off. We know how to do that. Then I got you to turn right around, didn't I? Oops, getting blurry. I got you to turn right around to the opposite. So when you were facing the front, I got you to turn to the back and you saw my hoodie. And that was a straight angle. We turned 180 degrees, so we know a straight angle. And then we did a whole turn around with our body. That was a 360. Can you think of anything else where you see 360s? Doing donuts, cars turning, okay, all of that. We've got three more angles that we need to learn, okay, and it's quite simple. So if it's not, if, that's your hunt, if that is 90 degrees <clears throat> and it's smaller, if the angle is smaller than that, that will become called that will be called an acute angle okay so anything smaller than that right angle will be acute okay the next one is if there is an angle that is more than 90 degrees okay so it's going to lean back and come down to here somewhere that is an obtuse angle okay so between 90 degrees and 180 it's not quite a straight line yet but it's past the 90 have a look, see the difference. Kapoi, so let's tick that off. Now, after 180 degrees, your straight line, you start to get into your whole turn. But between a straight line and a whole turn, you have a reflex angle. Okay, so there's the straight line, there's the whole turn, and in the middle is a reflex angle. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got our straight line, but it's going around and it hasn't quite come back to 360 degrees yet. And those are our six types of angles.